So hello everyone and welcome to day two of our Western European road trip and in this video I'm going to show you three beautiful hidden gems uh, located within Burgundy uh, in the Côte d'Or region. We've just driven around three hours south from our accommodation just outside of the city of Rons. And so we're starting our exploration of Burgundy today in a beautiful medieval village. We're now spending the next few days around the Dijon area and so it's time for a little bit of a driving rest now. So yeah, let's get to this village. is head down towards that bridge that you can see behind me which is um, I think one of the best viewpoints of this village um, and we're gonna go through some of the beautiful cobbled streets on the way and uh, yeah see some of the um, incredible local shops that you can find here. Yeah, so let's do that. These towers that you can see behind me are actually the only remains that are left from the castle that once stood here, but they are a stark reminder of uh, just how imposing this castle would have been. And I just love how the city seems to have been built on top of the remains of the castle. It's integrated perfectly. Good architecture. Good architecture. Good architecture. It has a big crack in the middle actually, all the way from the top to the bottom. So hopefully it doesn't break on us. <laughs> And this behind me is um, the other centerpiece of this village. Uh, this is the Notre Dame, uh, which kind of dominates the main square. And to be honest, some of the detail is insane. We are going to head into the old cobbled streets now and find some uh, Beautiful French food. Hello there. I'm waiting for my food. It's a very nice restaurant. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see, but the food looks good. But that comes out. This town is actually famous for its beef stew with red wine sauce, which is known as Bourguignon. So, what's this? <laughs> is it good? So we've now just done a 20 minute drive and here we are at our first Chateau of France. So now Ellie's got herself ready. Yes, I got changed because everyone here has a very good fashion sense and I was just wearing shorts and I felt bad. Can you guys see the Chateau? Yeah. Yes, so you join us here at the chateau we were talking about and I think you'll agree it is just as grand as uh, expected and uh, it's actually a very kind of unknown uh, hidden location in uh, this part of France but it has a very interesting story about it and Ellie is uh, going to tell you the story yes, of this beautiful of chateau. Chateau de Bussy, I think. My French pronunciation is not the best but yeah. So basically he will won a lot of glory during the war between the French and the Spanish but for him it ended a bit too soon as he would have liked to you know gather more medals and more glory <laughs> and then to occupy his time he said like writing about the court of King Louis the 14th and he wrote this manuscript that was uh, supposed to be only for his close friends and his mistress and all that but someone got her hands on it and it got distributed among the court and he got into a big scandal, especially because he was criticizing the king's cousin. And that earned him 17 years of shame, where he just had to be exiled back at the palace here and uh, continue his writing and painting and all of that stuff. That's a lot of pictures, eh? It is a lot of pictures, <laughs> but they're very good. It's very nice, I would definitely recommend. You can definitely see the richness of the place and yeah. Good experience.
So that ends our exploration of the chateau. So now we are going to see some of the nature of Burgundy and we're going to head to a really interesting looking hiking area, home to some very dramatic, beautiful scenery, panoramas. Um, so let's go. Let's go. Follow me. So I think this will give us an incredible viewpoint. I mean, the views are already pretty spectacular. We're a little bit lost right now, but I'm sure I will find our it. navigation skills will pull yeah. through. It's a steep path. It is. <sighs> I know, it's Butterfly Central this walk. So we managed to find the path. We've done a lot of climbing, hence why we're out of breath. Uh, but hopefully it's coming up soon. Well, this looks like a viewpoint. Oh, that looks nice, yeah. Should we go? Uh, I mean, I see this. Yeah. And so here we are, the uh, viewpoint. And to be honest, I can't think of uh, a much better idea of the surrounding countryside than what you can see right here. This hill seemingly juts up completely out of nowhere. The walk is not too long, only around 30 to 40 minutes. You can extend it to an entire loop that takes you around three hours. It has been a very uh, up and down loop. We are getting in the hills now, and it makes me excited for what's to come in the future after uh, we head even closer towards the Swiss Alps and eventually we'll be exploring them. <laughs> so we are gonna enjoy a rest here in the sun as mm. uh, it starts to go down and hopefully get a bit cooler. Yes, and then we can get some much needed sleep. Yes, we check into our accommodation which is uh, just outside of Dijon and tomorrow we are going to explore Dijon, Dijon. so that's what to come up in yeah. the next video. Yeah, exciting. Very exciting. We can so. get some Dijon mustard. Of course, yeah. yes. <laughs> and we, obviously we're in Burgundy, we, we have, have to try, to try some, some wine. wine. We don't really drink wine but no, we'll give it a go. Yeah. So, we yeah. can't not. Yeah, yeah. We had some wine in our food today. <laughs> I mean, but I don't think that counts. I don't think that counts. No. <laughs> okay, cool. See you in the next one.